Alright, so I got most of the parts that I think I need to rebuild this thing, except brush. I mean, I haven't really tried to look. But these look like pretty specialized brushes. So, I don't know. I might just clean them up and see how they work for now. Try to find some later. Maybe get some more used pumps and try to find better brushes or something. Um, I was, at first, a little confused by these wires the little ones I wasn't sure exactly what they would be sensing in there or whatnot but I'm pretty sure I figured it out the red one just connects straight to the positive bar in here yeah. and it's a really small gauge wire like sensor type you know you wouldn't really want to power anything no. with that say hi hi and then the other two, the blue and the white wire, connect to either side of these little bridges that get little switches that get pushed up by the brushes. And it looks like when they wear out, they'll run into that little notch. And these are insulated from the brush, so it's not going to get any power off of the brush. It's just if it hits that notch, it looks like it's going to disconnect this switch. So what I'm thinking is all these are, are just wear sensors for um, like a check engine light for the because I know those cars have a power steering light. So I kind of have like a ghetto drawing over here on some. So like here are the negative brushes and then here's those two little switches and I think they just go to the ECU and if either one of these brushes are about to be worn out then it'll disconnect this and the ECU will know and then it'll turn the light on. And then the positive one does kind of the same thing. If so, say if like a fuse blows or something, EC will know and then put a light on. But I could totally be wrong. So if anyone else thinks they know better what that does, I mean, they could be like thermal switches or something too. Or maybe they do both. But yeah, if anyone knows better, let me know. But if you're thinking about using one of these pumps and those extra things scare you, I don't think I would worry about them. I would probably just, you know, just use the two ones like everybody on the internet says and ignore the little wires. Unless you want to set up your own check engine light setup for it, that'd be cool.